On December 23, 1981, Agnes Maloka moved to Melbourne, Australia, at an early age with her folks. She accepted her advanced education in Oceanic Paleo History from Flinders College in 2007. She had gone to the College of Melbourne before that for her college degree, where she was a leader of the Melbourne College Submerge Club. 2003-2005, in the mid-year of 2007, she finished an entry-level position in St. Augustine, Florida, with the Beacon Archaeological Oceanic Program, where she partook in the archaeological uncovering of noteworthy wreck locals. This work would acquaint her with Florida plunging, where she would proceed to investigate broad cavern frameworks. Agnes before long turned into an energetic, submerged photographic artist, oceanic excavator, global cavern voyager, and an exceptionally quality jumper with numerous confirmations. She supposedly never needed to be a specialized jumper, yet she said everything happened suddenly. Her enthusiasm brought her into the most profound waters and caverns, bringing about her turning into an accomplished specialized jumper in any case. Cave investigation turned out to be a greater amount of a fixation for Agnes, in light of the fact that she was continually dazzled by seeing obscure sections and where they prompted. She was known for planning new cavern frameworks, pushing limits, and getting back with pictures from her experiences. In a 2009 endeavour close to Cocklebiddy, Australia, she made the record for the longest cavern, make a plunge Australia for a female. Likewise, in 2009, Agnes was a visual right hand on the Public Geographic magazine campaign to the Bahamas Caverns, bringing about a couple of her photographs being distributed by the Public Geographic site. In 2010, while living in Florida, she laid north of 13,000 FTE, 4,000 M, of line across various cavern frameworks. She warmed up to a considerable lot of the renowned Florida cave jumpers, including West Skiles. They teamed up on a few tasks, remembering recording of the regular geographic unique for the caverns of the Bahamas. Was assisted Agnes with beginning in her fantasy to make a vocation from cave jumping, narrative making and investigation. Agnes was a speaker at various jumping-related meetings. She even went about as a trick twofold for two female characters on the James Cameron created include Film Sanctum, 2011, and worked during the creation as Cavern Plunge teacher to the entertainers. On February 27, 2011, at age 29, Agnes set out to investigate Tank Cavern close to Mount Gambia, South Australia, with a gathering of different jumpers. She had investigated the Tank Cavern a few times previously and knew all about the cavern framework. She was doing what she cherished and did best stretching her own boundaries in a mission to fulfill her consuming interest to see what was around the following corner. Tank Cavern got its name from a water tank that sits straightforwardly on top of the entry. To enter the cavern, you need to move down a short stepping stool in light of the fact that the entry is underground. The Cavern Jumper's relationship of Australia rigorously controls admittance to this entry. Tank Cavern is viewed as an intriguing jewel for cave jumpers. The cavern prompts a broad labyrinth-like framework with over of entries that cavers can jump through. It likewise has various side channels. The cavern is moderately shallow, with a most extreme profundity of around 65 feet. Its water is completely clear. Tank Cavern is likewise quite possibly of the longest submerged cave in Australia and a proper line runs all through the vast majority of the cavern. Nonetheless, the cavern is still extremely perilous in light of the fact that the arrangement of the cavern is very convoluted. It seems to be a wild cobweb. To make preparations for mishaps, cave jumpers should go through a bit by bit manual for really get to know the cavern before they are given admittance. The cavern has tight limitations. A few pieces of the cavern are encased to such an extent that one might be expected to pull their tanks off before they can go through without block. The internal parts of the cavern rooftop and walls are delicate and soft. In this manner, 
Rooftop parts might fall on jumpers as they inhale air, upsetting the lucidity of the water and bringing about a powerlessness to obviously see. During her undertaking inside Tank Cavern, Agnes was investigating the broad maze of the cavern framework. She headed out to investigate a tight limitation where she needed to set out alone on the grounds that only one individual could fit. Agnes worked up some residue and became muddled when she could never again see. While attempting to get herself out, she ran out of air and choked. She was accounted for missing at around 1.45 p.m. on Sunday, February 27, 2011. Her kindred jumpers buckled down before they could recuperate her body. The jumpers utilized a rule from the entry of the cavern. A few hours after the missing report, her body was recuperated around 1,800 feet into the cavern framework by the retriever group, which incorporated her plunging mate, Dr. Harris. She was lowered under 65 FTTT of water in a tight segment of the cavern. Her animosity in the winding and tight passages could have cost her life. In spite of the risks and her initial death, Agnes sought after her energy with faithful devotion and made huge commitments to the field of cavern investigation.